Oh, hello, everybody. Um, hello, Yesu uh, Cafe in Sheringham. Thank you very much for coming to my, my glass painting. Um, is that better? Thank you very much for coming to my glass painting demonstration. Uh, and thank you very much for watching this video about how to glass paint. Uh, we are going, this is a Jubilee celebration. We're going to glass paint this crown. Uh, and, um, and this is how we do it. Never mind, it doesn't matter. No, that way. That, okay. Right. Um, now, these are, this is glass paint. It is ground glass mixed with lead oxides. And you, you have to squidge it around with your palette knife. Um, and you um, have to make sure all the, the glass is ground down. This is a glass palette. And then I'm going to paint it on the glass. And then I'm going to fire it in the kiln at 620 degrees centigrade. OK? Um, and um, so that's the palette. Uh, and then this is the glass. It's just float glass we're using, normal glass. That's the design. Um, we'll do that later. First of all, you're going to put a wash on. It's called a wash. It's um, just a very thin layer of glass paint mixed with the um, vinegar. Um, and we put it on like this. We put lots of, make it nice and watery with vinegar. Um, and we put an applicator brush and we slap it on like this. Ah. Yeah. I've done all of this. I've done this bit for you, everybody. Um, it's all over there, on there. And because this is the first stage, this is the vinegar layer. So then we're going to put a layer of glass paint mixed with lavender oil after we've done this. So that's so I've applied it, and then I'm going to take a badger brush, um, and um, I'm going to diffuse it, make it all level and smooth like that. There, that is my... smell of vinegar. Yeah. Does it make you want fish and chips? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the first layer, okay? Um, and then I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to take one that I made earlier. Have you done all of those ones? Yeah, I've done all of them for you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh. And then I put, so I put the crown design underneath the glass that I've put the wash on. It's dry now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then you take, you, you take off the highlights um, and you use a, um, this is a stippler. A stippler is a stiff brush. And I'm going to scratch off the light bit of the crown. This is the furry bit, so I'm going to make it all nice and soft like that. Uh, like all the little hairs. Uh, and really, all the, the light, it's called the highlights, the light, the light bits. And then, and then here I'm going to make it smooth. This is the, to make the crown look three-dimensional, you, you do um, light bits, light in the middle, and then gradually it gets darker and darker. In that way. Okay. And then, um, so that's just, a, and then you do the same, you get a smaller stippler brush to do the little bubbles at the end etc etc that's the highlights so i'm just going to skip on to the next bit you do that all over the all over this design and then, and also you can um use uh, that's a sharpened end of a pencil to get lines um so i do that <clears throat> if i want to uh, so i'm going to scratch out that little jewel there with it yeah, and then I do a little, so to make that jewel there, I do that like that. Okay, that's, and then I do, um, so that's the, the vinegar layer, and now I put the lavender oil layer. Um, and I, I mix, this is lavender oil, you can buy it online. Oh, wow, lavender oil. It's quite runny, even though it's oil. Uh, and I get a different um, get a palette, knife. palette knife, and I'm I'm um, mixing it up with a palette knife in the same way. And hello, hi hello. Jackie. Um, and then um, this is a rigger brush. You make lines with this brush. I'm going to just use that one's a bit nicer. And now I'm doing the low lights, the dark bits. 
Um, let's put that so not too much. So this, the dark edge of the crown is here. This, this is dark, and that's sort of medium. You do the dark bits like that. You can do anything you like. You don't have to do a crown, but I'm just showing you a crown because it's the jubilee, mm -hmm. right? And then you, so I put that on nice and thick, and then I'm getting another a little, a miniature badger brush. Yeah, the lavender oil is very calming. Lavender oil. There, I'm diffusing it so that it um, goes gradually lighter and lighter. And then you do a little, and then the bubble, you put that like that, and then you diffuse it. You squidge it around. Oh, yeah. And then it goes, because the thing, if you want to make things three-dimensional, you have to go from dark to light. There, and so that gives you the idea. And then this is dark here. So that's the idea, lady. Rub. Right. Uh, raspberry rub. You um, cover up the bit you don't want to do it on, like that bit. And then you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you blow dry it. You, look, you blow a raspberry, all the spit, right? And then you blow dry it. Right? And then you get your finger and you rub it, and it makes those... Um, it comes out there. It comes out little speckles. It's called raspberry rub. And so you can have all sorts of effects. You can, um, you can do patterns little flowers, you can do all sorts at once round here, or you can get the brush wet. Um, you can get a, a brush with um, vinegar, and you can go make, make some effects like that, nice. you know, or do that, or, you know, you can play with it. And it, so it gives you quite a lot of different ways you can make different textures and different shapes and different patterns oh. of, of, of your choosing.